Hey YouTube, in this video we have V, it's a vector space over a field F. We have U and W, these are subspaces of V, and we have to prove that the intersection is also a subspace of V. So not a very difficult problem, uh, but let's go through it carefully. So first, um, what does it mean for something to be a subspace of another vector space? So I'm going to write that over here. So let's not use uh, the same letters, I'll, I'll use V, but I don't want to use U or W, so I'll use capital X. So we'll say capital X is a subspace of V if the following three conditions uh, hold. The first condition is that capital X should be a non-empty set. So it should be non-empty. Usually you show this by showing that it contains the zero vector. So some textbooks will replace this first condition with saying that capital X contains the zero vector. Two, when it, for every little vector in capital X, every little vector x and every little vector y in capital X. Whenever you have two vectors in capital X, the sum of those vectors is also in capital X. So you have x plus y in capital X. And that's called closure under vector addition, extra, extra knowledge. And then three, uh, if you have a little vector in capital X and you have an element in your field, these are called scalars. Usually the field is the real numbers or the complex numbers. We just use capital F to, to denote an arbitrary field. So for every little vector in your set and every little scalar in your field, the scalar product, so C times the vector X, also lives inside your set. So if all of these three conditions are satisfied, we say that capital X is a subspace of B. So in this problem, this is a proof. So we'll start by assuming that uh, these are subspaces. So I won't write that. It's assumed. And we'll prove that the intersection is a subspace. So proof. So typically, you would start the proof by saying, you know, suppose U and W are subspaces of, of V. So I won't write that part. So we'll just satisfy these conditions here. Oh, maybe I'll write. So suppose, suppose U and W are subspaces of V. Feel guilty not writing it. V. And V here is a vector space over our field F. Well, let's go ahead and show that the intersection is not empty. So we have to show that there is something in the intersection. Well, the natural choice is the zero vector. So since the zero vector is in U, and since the zero vector is in W, and this is because U and W are subspaces. So if you were writing out a proof and turning it in for like a classroom or something like that, you'd probably want to say that. So this is in here because U is a subspace. This is in here because W is a subspace. So it's in U and it's in W. That's precisely what it means for the zero vector to reside in the intersection. Hence, the intersection is non-empty. So that satisfies the first condition and our criteria. Now we have to show that our intersection is closed under vector addition. It's pretty easy. So take any, let's use x and y. Let's take any x and y, any vectors x and y in our intersection. So what do you do next? Well, you just write down what it means to be in the intersection. So this means, this means that x and y are in u, and x and y are in w. That's, it. That's precisely what it means for um, x and y to be in the intersection. It means that x and y are in u, and x and y are in w. Since u is a vector space and it's closed under vector addition, the sum is also in u. So you, you know, you would say that if you were writing a proof for like a classroom, I'll say it in words. So because U is a vector space and it's closed under vector addition, then X plus Y is in U. And likewise, W is a vector space, right? So it's closed under addition. X and Y are vectors in W. So the sum is also in W. So and X plus Y is in W. And that's precisely what it means for x plus y to be in the intersection, and hence, it's beautiful stuff. Mathematics is, is, is wonderful, so it's in the intersection. So that shows that it's closed under vector addition. So now we just have to show it's closed under scalar multiplication. So same thing. So take any x in the intersection and scalar c in our field f. And then you just write down again what it means for our vector x to be in the intersection. So then x is in u. And you know what? I'm going to write down that c is an f again. c is an f. 
and x is in w, c is in f. Just to really make it clear that we're using this, right? So we have a vector in our subspace and a scalar in our field. So then because u is a subspace and it's closed under scalar multiplication, the vector cx is in u. So then cx is in u. And because w is a subspace and it's closed under scalar multiplication, that means that cx is in w. So cx is in u and cx is in w. It's precisely what it means for cx to be in the intersection. So I hope you can still see cx is in the intersection. So that satisfies the third condition. So all three conditions are satisfied. So therefore, the intersection is a subspace. So thus, u intersection w is a subspace. So I said a lot up there in words. And really, the, the important things were said in words. So hopefully that helps you if you have to do this for something out there. Um, that's it. Hope it made sense.